Welcome to the show, Lauren. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. So I'm going to uh, regretfully admit to the audience the truth here, that this is in fact our second conversation. Mm -hmm. So out of 180 episodes, you guys, uh, recording, you know, all over New York City, all over Los Angeles, probably some, oh, Austin I've been to, a few other places I've recorded. I have all my mobile gear. I set it all up. I have never once not captured the audio on a recording and uh, Lauren was here the other day we had a fantastic conversation for about an hour and a half very fun very spontaneous the following morning I went to grab my card out of my recorder and <laughs> upload the files into Dropbox and I was like oh that's weird where they're usually right in that little folder where are they and searched and search and ex you know like um, ejected the card put it back in restarted my computer and I'm like eh, it's not there so I think literally what happened was I just did not turn around and click record so this is our take two yeah uh which is embarrassing i'm glad that you were um cool about it no this is fun are you kidding me so, it's such good. a pleasure to be speaking to you today so cool i'm so happy to be here good awesome so what are you most excited about in your life right now uh, well last time i talked about my marriage which i'm not going to talk about that right now i don't okay. think you can talk well remember also you're free to not talk about that but no one knows what we talked about last time because it it's, it, it doesn't exist in space and time at this point. So um, we're going to be repeating ourselves a lot, by the way. So just completely like ignore the fact that we had a prior conversation. But that said, talk about whatever you feel like. I just like to get people started sometimes. Like what's hot in your life right now? What's okay. super amazing and exciting? So um, last week I was really excited about getting married, which is awesome. Um, this week I'm a little bit more excited about moving upstate. Really? So my husband and I just Dope. bought a house upstate, yep, Putnam Valley, which is over by Cold Springs, which is so exciting because I'm so happy to just be able to get out of the city a little bit more, actually a lot more, Yeah. and just have my own space and have a home. You know, living in New York for 10 years and never being able to buy property is like really frustrating. So to actually have something that's yours that we can build on, that we can really create a home and... I'm really looking to up my um, self-care routine, which I feel like is really hard sometimes here in New York. I feel like I can meditate everywhere but here. And this is the place where I actually need to be doing it the most. But I don't know if it has to do with my small little apartment or just like that I don't have a separate room where like that's my peaceful room where I just like kind of relax and meditate in. Um, but I, I really feel like I, I was amazing at my self-care um, routine in the morning and just throughout my life a lot more three years ago before I started my company. And then just recently, I kind of lost it. I've been more focused on like, you know, getting work done. And, you know, when I'm not working, like, can I get that work at in that I really find it hard to, you know, have that time to meditate. So I'm really just looking forward to having my own space where I can take baths, where I can meditate, where I can listen to more podcasts and just escape the feeling that I feel guilty that, you know, I'm not out and doing something in New York City, which is what we all oh, suffer man. from. Good for you. I'm really happy for you. Seriously. Uh, I, I love it here. It's obviously like a fantastic, creative, exciting place, but it's pretty hard on your nervous system. I'm sure you've been nonstop. <laughs> yeah. It's like one I mean, thing I'm, after another. I'm after fine another. because I know it's a, it's a finite uh, amount of time that I'm here. So I just roll with the rhythm and the energy and the productivity of it. And it's great. But I'm talking about just like the, the idea of living here in New York City to me lot. is pretty hardcore. I mean, just the EMFs and just the noise pollution. Yeah. And, and you have all your tools too, right? Your yeah, oh EMF yeah. machines. Yeah, I have my EMF amp, blockers. I have my amp coil and my Biomed and my um, Fisher Wallace brain stimulator and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so I have my I have my jams, but even in LA for me, after it's been 30 years now I've been living there, I'm, I want to go to the upstate version of LA. Is that very Joshua soon. Tree? Uh, that's a little know. too far out. Uh, okay. Where, where's the upstate I'm looking version? in Topanga Canyon right now. Okay, yeah. This is like I love Topanga Barely Canyon. out of LA, but Topanga yeah. or Malibu. Um, but it's still a commute. Like if you're thinking about living there, you're going to have to be driving. It is, yeah. yeah. It's it's no joke, but city life is, um, I don't know, it has an expiration date, I think, for some of us. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> just the energy of it's Non-stop. intense. Non-stop, yeah. yeah. After many trips here, I finally figured out... Um, that it's much easier to kind of stay in your zone in New York City if you wear headphones. <laughs> like, I oh, I never realized, like, so many people walk around with noise-canceling headphones or earbuds in, and I just I just never noticed that. I was like, oh, I guess they like music here. We need your biohacking tips for New York City. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, how do you survive the city? 
Well, first one is wear good noise canceling headphones around yeah. and listen to really uplifting Done. music. I've been listening to Bob Dylan's like 70s time capsule all week walking around New That's York City. That's just awesome. That's been epic. Um, the other one, well, there's a lot of them, but on a higher dose. On, no, I'm not even like yeah. saying that because you own a sauna company, <laughs> yeah. but going and finding an infrared sauna is crucial. And this time when I did that, because you were going to be on the show, you're like, hey, feel free to come, you know, test out our location. At, what is 11 Howard? At, yep. That, at that one hotel. of our locations is in a luxury hotel. So beautiful hotel, beautiful room, like very luxurious experience. And doing that so soon after I landed, I think it was like the day after I landed. I mean, I totally changed my whole world. Yeah, just cleans your slate. Puts oh you my back God. To, like, yeah. Feeling great. Yeah. Normal. So I'll always find some sort of spa where there's saunas, cold plunge, hot tubs, something I mean, like that. Hot and cold therapy has been yeah. used for centuries for well being and health, but ultimately to get high naturally in the moment, it. Like there's nothing that feels better than hot and cold therapy for me. It's the best. I well, it's funny. I was telling Valerie here, who's assisting with all these podcasts. <laughs> uh, she's this will be. Were you here for the first one, Valerie? Yeah. yeah. So hey, she's gonna, you're you're free. <laughs> you can listen to music right now on your headphones and totally ignore it. Um, but I was telling her they gave me a note last night. They slipped under the door. It said, "Hey, tomorrow we're going to be doing maintenance on the you know the uh, climate system, whatever. Your AC and heat won't work." I was like, "Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. I'm going to walk outside <laughs> if I get too hot." But I woke up this morning. It's freezing because I sleep with the AC on like 65. I yeah. mean, it's like a freaking igloo in here. I just love sleeping when it's super cold, which is hard to achieve in LA a lot of the time. And then, but I got up and I was quite chilly. I thought, "Ooh, I'm going to cheat and have a hot shower this morning because I usually don't even turn on the hot water. Just take cold showers." And in New York right now, and late. October the cold showers are quite cold and I turned on the hot water and there was no hot water oh, because no. they the boilers are down or whatever you know wow. I was like oh now I see now why it's people just torture. now I see yeah. why people always fight me on the cold shower thing I get it because if you wake up cold anyway um, yeah I mean doing a sauna or doing something hot before getting into something freezing cold is the tip to yeah. do because if you're cold and then you go into cold it's just miserable it is yeah yeah so you that have to get nice and toasty that would probably be a couple of my main hacks and then I want to interview you instead of myself. Um, the other one that, because people always want to know the cheap ones or the free ones too. Oh, I don't have an amp coil or this or that. Dude, do breath work. I mean. Kundalini for me yeah. is like, you know, I just actually recently started getting into Kundalini probably three years ago, but recently more than ever doing Rama TV. Oh yeah. Guru Jagat. Dope. Wow. She's a powerful woman. She's great. And uh, yeah, like meditation's a lot for me, but I need to do like heaps of breath work before I even do my meditation, even t to be able to get into that state of relaxation. So I just find Kundalini for me is a perfect mixture of both meditation, mindfulness, but also with breath work too. Yeah. And movement, movement's another big one for me. Yeah. So yeah, Kundalini is my biohacking tip for New York City. I agree. I went to Rama uh, and took a class uh, the day after I landed. Yeah, oh. I think it was the same day I came to Higher Dose. Yeah, yeah, that was an amazing day. I yeah. gave myself one day to kind of acclimate, you know. Uh, but anyway, let's get into your deal. So uh, as I started to research you and compile my notes and things I want to talk to you about, I know this was a while ago, but as you just indicated that you like to move your body, I'm fascinated by your fitness and modeling background, specifically yeah. your woman versus workout um youtube show it was the show. coolest show ever i mean it's pretty like you trained to by you trained to be a navy seal a firefighter i mean you did a lot of hardcore shit on there it was yeah very interesting to it watch would have been great that. for tv i think it was a little bit of a, ahead of its time so this was probably seven years ago um i filmed a youtube series with rodell which is women's health and men's health and it was woman called Woman Versus Workout, where I pretty much was challenged with all sorts of fitness challenges and very like masculine careers and things like Navy SEALs and like extreme sports. And pretty much I had a day with a trainer and I had to learn as much as I possibly could. And then I had a challenge at the end of the show, which was really cool. And uh, yeah, some of the craziest ones that I did was, uh, you know, training 24-hour hell night with Navy SEALs, which is insane i am a changed woman forever because of that show uh and that you know training that i put my body through um and then like you said nascar motocross firefighter training and then also things like crossfit um i did a backflip on skis which is pretty insane Are you serious? yeah and i'm like totally afraid of heights too Whoa. so you kind of like see me go through all of these like feelings that come up but yet i'll never turn out a challenge but I'm scared shitless. 
and you're just like watching me on this journey and then you know like a lot of times I completed the challenge and a lot of times I didn't and it was all good but it was just this really like cool show of like seeing a chick like take on whatever kind of challenge she you know was given and love it and I did I, I was really passionate about it and I think that really came through um on the show and then you also uh seem to have been a somewhat reluctant yet successful model for a period prior to getting into what we're going to talk about which is being you know an entrepreneur kind of in the sauna space as you are now with higher dose uh what was the first transition out of that career into the health and wellness space? Well, I mean, I modeled for 15 years, which is a long time. Um, so I went through the whole like, you know, fashion world and living in places like Milan and all through Europe and trying to fit in as a fashion model, which is definitely not my speed. Um, I also, I'm 5'8", which is not super tall. And, you know, I just... I'm not naturally a very thin person. I'm actually quite athletic, as I'm sure you you know. Um, so it was always really challenging for me. I always hated it. I never felt like I belonged. Um, I was always super clueless about nutrition and fitness. And um, the last podcast I was telling you about my Diet Coke and cigarette addiction um, as a model, which is super embarrassing. But That's, did- that's pretty much standard issue uh, sustenance for most fashion models, by the way, yeah. is Diet Coke and cigarettes. And especially like 10 years ago it yeah, was like yeah. there was no not like that's the time when you know fitness was all about like you know diet pills and you know chicken breast and broccoli and cottage cheese you right know? the loaf think people used to think that if you ate low fat you would be less fat which <laughs> yeah. is now of course we're going oh it's the opposite weird <laughs> yeah totally um but it wasn't until i moved to new york that i um started getting into fitness modeling which is actually how i probably lasted 15 years in total Um, because, you know, I'm really passionate about movement I'm really passionate about being physical and I was appreciated for my physical stature and, you know, like I eat, sleep and breathe that lifestyle. So I actually became quite a successful fitness model, um, which also led me to woman versus workout because I actually just went for a casting and they filmed me. And I was like talking about my lifestyle and I'm like, oh yeah, I live in South Africa and all around the world and I swim with sharks and I do the world's highest bungee jump and, you know, like they they thought I was insane. So they were like, okay, this girl's going to be perfect for woman versus workout. So, I mean, I have a lot to thank, you know, when it comes to the modeling industry and what it provided for me, traveling around the world, meeting amazing people, being exposed to so many beautiful cultures at such a young age and ultimately leading me to woman versus workout, which led me to a hosting career. So not only did I host woman versus workout, but Dana White saw my videos, my woman versus workout videos online and saw me do UFC and was like, this chick's going to, you know, host for UFC. So then I, I was hosted for UFC and EA Sports, IMG, and uh, all sorts of other extreme sports. I was actually hosting for a year for the BMX Supercross, which was pretty cool. Oh, really? Did oh, that I didn't know year. that. God, I yeah. usually dig pretty well on my guests and find out everything they've done, but I didn't know that. Yeah. I'll send you some videos later. But that was kind of more of um, live hosting, which was a lot harder for me than, you know, television hosting oh I was, right right I, w- I did the uh, bmx world tour oh so you're almost like an hosting then live is almost like an mc kind of in a sense i know Are it's always like weird i'm always like and... i'm trying to explain it to people i'm like i'm like a tv host but not like on tv <laughs> right right, right. <laughs> and people are always like what are you talking about right so then i go on to explain you know what kind of hosting i did um so it wasn't traditional tv hosting it was my own YouTube show, which led me to host for extreme sports. And then I um, did all sorts of tours with them. So I also got to interview amazing UFC fighters. And I grew up watching boxing and my dad's a big UFC fan from Canada. So for him, that was like everything. He thought that was the coolest thing. Mission accomplished. Yeah. And I was also stamp of approval from it really was. Yeah. And one time Dana White invited us ringside. Oh, no way. Yeah. Your dad too? Yeah. Oh, he must have been freaking. We were like ringside, like answering the phones, like pretty much sitting next to Dana White. And he just thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, I thought yeah. it was the coolest thing ever. I got to see John Jones fight Alexandra Gustafson. So cool. Where does your uh, journey collide with infrared saunas? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm a nutritionist and health coach as well. So 
after I was doing Woman versus Workout, I got really passionate not only about fitness, but uh, nutrition and wellness. So I studied at IIN. Valerie's also studying at IIN. Um, and I became a certified holistic nutritionist. And in that process, I was also interested in startups. So I started to work for a health and wellness startup. I did the brand ambassador program and product development. So I actually got to sit with all these influential doctors, nutritionists, naturopaths, fitness experts, and go over our product line. And in the midst of all of that, I got very close to them. And I was dealing with my own health problems because I was such an extreme athlete where I worked out twice a day like a psychopath. I, even though I was eating healthy because I learned how to eat well from IIN, um, I wasn't letting my nervous system calm, calm down. I actually had a hard time even sleeping through the night. Like I would be one of those people that would wake up in the middle of the night and eat oatmeal to put myself back to sleep, which is awful. Um, so I, you know, was talking to someone and I had a cystic acne on my jawline and it was really embarrassing for me because I'm supposed to be this like holistic nutritionist and health coach. And yet I can't even figure out my own health problems, which is a real struggle. You know, it's, it's a really tough thing. I always have so much empathy for people that are in this world trying to learn as much as they can or create a job out of it. And they're struggling with their own health problems where everyone can see it, you know, especially when you have skin problems. It's like they're it's showcased on your face. Right. And especially if you're doing media work as well. And Oh, yeah. You know. I mean, I struggled with my skin for years while I was still modeling. I mean, modeling, I was like, whatever, it's fine. I can just put makeup on it. But sitting there trying to like tell people what they should be eating and doing with their life and you have like like acne on your face that have heartbeats. Like that's how bad they were. Oh God, that sounds horrible. No, they did. They like had their own heartbeats. Oh they God. Were awful. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. That's what cystic acne it's cystic is. Cystic acne you can feel. It's like alive. Oh God. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was talking to um one of the doctors there and he told me about an infrared sauna and he's like you work out a lot and that's amazing, but infrared saunas are going to be able to give you that same feeling that you get from a workout, but it's going to calm your nervous system and it's going to help you with your skin. And at that time I was trying everything. So I was like, for sure. And I looked up infrared saunas and the only place I could find was this um, colonic center in New York City. And I never did. I had, I have never tried a colonic at that time. So you can imagine it was quite a weird experience for me. Yeah. Yeah. First time of that is never a party. Yeah, it's not exactly never, where you... <laughs> no one's ever come back and be like, yeah, I did a clonic today. First one, amazing experience. Like, why wasn't I doing this sooner? It's it's awkward on many levels yeah. and, and can be physically uncomfortable too. Yeah, it, it's also something you don't really talk about that often too because it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, um, totally. But I tried the... You just talked about it in front of about 25,000 <laughs> people this week. But yeah. I know. Um, but I tried the infrared sauna and I was like, whoa. Like, I've never felt this good before, and I'm someone that's very in tune with my body in the sense of liking to work out because I feel good. I like to eat well because I feel good. You know, I like to work in as in a startup because that makes me happy. So I'm very aware of, like, what makes me feel good, and I felt the best I've ever felt in my life. I slept like a baby that night, and my skin was glowing. I mean, it didn't cure my acne immediately, but I can see that it was going to if I stuck with it. So that night, I went to go write an article about it. Because I was also writing um, blog posts for the startup I was working for, Aloha. And I started researching it. And I was just like, what the heck? Like, how can it have this many benefits? And I'm telling you, it has so many benefits that we probably won't get to nearly as many in this podcast alone. Because it just has so many amazing things for you. And then the technology has been around for so long. And it's so safe that they put prematurely born babies in incubators. That's how safe the technology is. And even if you're really, really sick, they suggest you do it twice a day, which is not the case with most things. Usually when they're sick, you're sick, they tell you not to do things. Um, and it was just like immediately the, you know, lights went off and it was bigger than myself that I needed to do something with this. I felt so passionately about it. I've traveled all around the world. I used to live in like, you know, Turkey a year and a half before even moving to New York, all through Europe. I'm Canadian, Norwegian, Italian. Sonning was a part of my culture. And to find a sauna that made me feel the best was just like, what? Um, that that This is what I was going to do. Like, I'm starting an infrared sauna company. Damn. Yeah. That much of an impact. 
It did. I mean, I spent hours yeah. in a boardroom, like trying to develop a product that was highly detoxing, anti-aging, de-stressing, makes you sleep. And, you know, we created a protein powder, like not, n- not crazy inspiring, like, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. when I stumbled across this, I was like, this is everything that we talk about and it's here and it, it just made so much sense. So the timing of it all lined up and it was super obvious and I just needed to do it the next day. For those listening that haven't experienced an infrared sauna, but have maybe taken a sauna at the gym, like they might think, oh, a sauna is a sauna. Yeah, I've done that. Can you explain the difference between like, you know, an old school Finnish sauna that's fire, sauna. that's, you know, made with fire, the little electric ones and infrared, like the different yeah. options available. And I still love traditional saunas, FYI, by the way, they both have very beneficial needs to do both. But traditional saunas heat the air, whereas infrared heats the body. Infrared is on the invisible light spectrum, so it is a light therapy. Infrared penetrates the tissues and vibrates your water molecules and pulls out heavy metals, radiation, and environmental pollutants out of your fat cells, which doesn't always happen in traditional saunas. Traditional saunas are much more of a cardiovascular workout. They really work your heart and blood flow and circulation, but they don't have the same detoxing properties that infrared has. Um, Infrared is extremely detoxifying. It detoxes you seven times more than traditional saunas, which is... wow. A lot. Um, And yeah, and detoxing of things that are almost impossible to detox from. Like, you know, heavy metals is a real tough one. Um, You know, uh, environmental pollutants is a big one. Uh, Radiation. Like, who even knew you could detox from radiation? And you really feel the benefits because infrared is a much more gentle and effective heat versus, you know, traditional sauna heat. You need a much higher temperature with traditional saunas than you do at infrared. So infrared's a much more gentle, effective heat than it is aggressive and hot. And you always will notice the difference right off the bat because with traditional saunas, you need to like cover up your hair and take all your jewelry out. And sometimes it's burning your lungs and your eyes and you're like hunched over and you're like can't even move and you're exhausted. Infrared, you walk in and you're like, this is it. It just feels like a warm hug. And you're like, oh, this is good. And the longer you stay in there, obviously it keeps your core body temperature. So you get hotter and hotter, but you never get that hot as you do in a traditional sauna. But yet you're pouring sweat out, like tons, more sweat than you'll ever sweat in a traditional sauna. So it's, it's this really weird feeling. It's like you also get this runner's high too while you're in there because you feel so energized and you feel so great, but you are sweating and relaxing and detoxing you get like excited energized so it's it's so much fun to actually go in there with a friend or a colleague or a lover or someone because you just like have so much to say and you're having so much fun and it's not like you know the traditional saunas where you're like hunched over like counting down the seconds that you it can get is out. it is a different experience it's weird to as you said to sweat that much in an infrared sauna yeah. but the air is not hot no like when you go in a legit russian or turkish sauna or something and it's 220 degrees it's like you you can't even breathe deeply because yeah. it feels like it's burning your lungs it does and burn, and I like and I like yeah. that too yeah but um there it is a different experience in terms of your nervous system doesn't fight the infrared sauna not like at all when I go in a Russian sauna this two twenty I'm like ah I gotta really like toughen myself up and get in there and it takes a, this determination and grit and you know yeah. you have to kind of breathe shallow as I said and it's it's like a fight with the elements versus when you get in an infrared it's like your body sort of surrenders to the element to just roll it. it's, it's interesting yeah uh, last time I was here uh, last year I went to the Russian Turkish baths on um, 10th Street in the East Village Ooh. Yeah, and um, which I like. I like, I'm cool. I can like. I can. Well, roll. I like the cool plunge. After. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. But here's the thing: is I'm. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Where's the hottest sauna? And they're like, I don't know. You might not be able to handle it. I was like, Psh, <laughs> don't worry. I've been sauning since I'm ten or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I went in their their hot hot one, and it was so goddamn hot. I mean, I maybe stayed in there ten minutes, and I'm pretty hardcore. I mean, I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable. 
But it was like, if you moved, it burned your skin almost, yeah. you know? And then I did the cold plunge, which I like the coldness of it, but it has a lot of chlorine, so that was challenging. Yeah. Anyway, there's another long story that ends in a totally inappropriate way that was hilarious. I'm able to tell you off um, <laughs> off recording, but- I can only imagine. <laughs> I've been to those yeah, yeah. bathhouses before. Strange, stuff happens. Strange things happen at 5 p.m. on Thursdays. Uh, guys, beware. <laughs> um, and yeah. <laughs> I actually talked about it on a live podcast I did at Cat Beauty last year, but totally, I don't want to digress and get off. We have a finite amount of time here. The moral of the story is that goddamn hot sauna, I came back to my hotel later and was like, ah, my ears hurt. What the hell? And I looked in the mirror and it had melted the skin off the top of my ears. That's how hot it was. And I'm like, even I don't like to be that hardcore. I like having skin on my ears. So Yeah, you, that's why they have those like Russian caps that you're supposed yeah. to soak and put on your head because it literally burns you, which is fine. And it's the same in the German that's saunas That's what those too, little where they felt like, caps are for? Yeah. Oh, so I it thought, doesn't burn your hair off. Oh, I thought they're caps because I have one of those in my infrared sauna at home that someone, someone gave me. I forget who it was. Um. I thought that those were so that you could get hotter faster because they like hold the heat. In. <laughs> do you need to get hotter faster? I do. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I I love my clear light sauna, but I still I warm it up for like an hour before I get in there. So I'm at one fifty five or one fifty seven yeah. by the time I get in there, and even that, like I've. Ex- explored the idea of hacking the sauna and putting a cover on it or something so it gets even hotter than that because i want to go in and just start pouring sweat immediately i'm just kind of hardcore like that but again you can do a little workout before and raise your own core body temperature right while you're in there and then take a cayenne pepper shot before too which cayenne's really great for the heart but oh, it also yeah. creates more Good internal hack. heat yeah i could do a few rounds on the old bellicon rebounder get all yeah. hyped up on that yeah totally actually you know what i did that last year i did this uh, niacin sauna oh, Okay, I thing. knew you were going to say this. Cause I, and part of that is you exercise like hell after you've taken the niacin. There's a whole protocol, and then you get in the sauna and you sweat like a freaking beast. Which niacin um, causes skin flushing and a lot of heat within the body. So I'm sure that would make you even hotter. I've never done this detox, but I want to. Dude, it's amazing. There's, there's like a whole group online. Yeah, there's right? a Facebook yeah. group you can join. I know. I was like, should I yeah. sell this? Or this is guy, this going like, to be his name too is detoxifying? Brett Bauer, I think is his name. The guy that leads the Facebook group, Brett with one T. And uh, you can join there and just kind of like, you know, extrapolate the protocol out of there. It's actually taken from L. Ron Hubbard of Scientology. He wrote a book called Clear Body, Clear Mind. Yeah, it and was a protocol that they used yeah, and they during would, Scientology is you had to do so you infrared know. sauna for like three hours a day or something yeah. like that. It is so gentle and safe that you could do it for that long, but you don't want to do it for that long. Well, the, the one that they did uh, in the original protocol, it's been co-opted now. And for an infrared sauna, you only have to do like an hour. But when they did it, um, they did it in Scientology to get people off street drugs and stuff. That's how he first developed it. And feeling amazing because then they'll be like, yeah. oh, wow, Scientology really makes me feel great. Meanwhile, it's the sauna. And <laughs> <Right>. lifestyle. <laughs> but the, it's actually kind of genius in a way. But they would use they would use traditional saunas and you had to stay in there for way longer because in order to sweat that much in the old school school saunas it takes a lot longer and so but for the detoxing of the drugs too i mean yeah but now with the infrared you can do that l ron hubbard protocol and only go in there for an hour a day but yeah it's like it's a 30-day thing um you take a higher dose of niacin every single day there's kind of a way that you follow it but you have to take all of these other supplements because you get so depleted in fat soluble yeah, like vitamins fats and stuff and minerals and stuff yeah, like that. yeah. It's, so it's not something like those listening don't just be like cool I'll take a bunch of niacin no. and go in the sauna it's a whole thing you gotta well if, you gotta you, if you're gonna do it they also suggest doing it for a month too every yeah. day and then you build up to more and more niacin which i'm super excited to try it because i'm like reading all of these like amazing doctors talking about it online and saying this is one of the most powerful detoxifying yeah. detoxes that you could do which is pretty freaking well awesome. i did my heavy metal blood work and urine work and all I of just the... did that today with great planes oh really yeah, laboratory yeah oh cool mm-hmm. so i did all the biomarkers before and then i did them after and they all went down considerably okay yeah. that's great especially mercury my mercury went down a lot wow so there you go yeah because i get really pissed off when you know i get interviewed and just recently this stupid documentary on netflix just came out where this guy like you know, came to the conclusion himself that infrared saunas don't detoxify. And it was just like, um, hold on a second. Like, we have tons of studies 
specifically on the sweat of an infrared sauna versus traditional sweat and all the toxins that are coming off of it coming off of you and yet this guy just goes on to a netflix documentary and says infrared saunas don't actually scientifically detox you oh weird it's crazy what they actually let people come out with without like fact checking it you know just for like i wonder what would be one's motive um they would have to be selling a different type of sauna or something you know i think it or, uh, no, I don't think it was necessarily that. He was pretty much saying that everything he tried is actually ah, okay, got not, it. doesn't work. So got he it. just had this like really negative look on like the whole entire health and wellness world. Oh, uh, okay. Which, you know, that was his thing. So I think it was called um, Ways to Cheat Death or something, which is such a stupid title if you think about it. It's like, I'm not just cheating death. I want to feel good in this lifetime. So it's right. not about, you know, trying not to die. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? I'm perfectly fine dying with whenever I'm supposed to die. I just <laughs> yeah. don't want to feel like shit while I'm here. <laughs> exactly. That's... I just want to live my best life while I'm here. So one thing that I was grateful to find when I uh, came to your spot and took your sauna, which was amazing. Uh, now I've done two of your locations. I want to talk about the other one, too, because that place was super lit. But I walked in and I was like, thank God it was a clear light sauna. Yes. Now, having done uh, a lot of research on saunas and been a fan of... Infrared saunas for a long time. I had one that my dad gave me, kind of a cheap Korean one that I was very grateful for. It was probably very high EMF. And you it, have to choose. It was kind a of a, a no name sauna. I had that for 15 years, but I knew about Clear Light. I just hadn't, you know, um, upped my game yet. But based on all of the research I've done, that is by far the best brand of sauna. So when you started your company, why did you decide? What led you to decide to work with them and build out your custom saunas and all the stuff that you're doing now rather than the other five companies out there or whatever? Yeah, so this was about four years ago. And uh, like you said, you researched the best sauna company. And, you know, my business partner and I did the same thing. We researched the best sauna companies. And uh, then we tried the different sauna brands, which I think is a lot more telling than just researching because sometimes companies can be better marketers and they could actually be at product development um and we tried the clear light sauna versus all the other competitor sauna brands and we tried a lot of saunas and clear light saunas were significantly better their technology is patented it was a full spectrum sauna near mid and far wavelengths they also um had an upgraded medical grade chromial light therapy in there, which is super profound and amazing. So it was this like whole whack of light therapy in one unit. And yeah, I sweat more than I do with any other saunas. I feel the best from Clear Light. Um, and, but it wasn't really until we, you know, cold reached out to Clear Light and the warm, like welcoming response from Raleigh and Andy w- was just overwhelming. These guys did anything they possibly could to support us, answer all of our questions. We initially, when we first started our company, we started off installing infrared panels into yoga studios because that was like my big idea. I was like, why isn't every hot yoga place using infrared? Like, duh, that would be an an obvious thing that I could solve. Can you imagine the EMFs in most of the hot yoga places? And convectional heat and how drying and gross that is. Like, I usually leave hot yoga and I'm like shaking because it's just too much for me because my nervous system is so sensitive. Yeah. That I can't overtax it with, you know, really, really like bad, unhealthy heat or h- too much high intensity workout. I have to calm down. Um, but we started off installing these infrared panels and they like patented the technology that we developed and it was infrared plus clay. And it was like these guys did so much with us to launch our business. And, uh, you know, we did quite well with that, but also realized very quickly that that wasn't a very good business model because, you know, it's really difficult to sell clunky infrared panel like systems to yoga studios. Um, And, you know, my business partner is a very smart business woman and she like had a lot of opinion on, you know, the business model, too. And, uh, you know, we were tipped off from Clearlight, the idea around, you know, opening up our own sauna spas. And, uh, you know, so we opened our first sauna spa about a year after we first started Higher Dose and it immediately took off, like immediately. Um, you know, we really focused on experience and we, we were located in these really cool like wellness centers and, you know, we had essential oils and the bright light and the cool music and, you know, the sauna and it was like nobody had really ever experienced anything like an infrared sauna before, let alone in such a cool location. And it just like spread like wildfire like everyone was talking about it we had crazy amounts of press that came in and you know like my company like literally just took off from there 
Um, but bringing it back to Clearlight, we partnered with Raleigh and um, Andy and not only on these infrared panels, but also to create our own custom sauna because we learned a lot from our first locations and, you know, just the commercial grade of, you know, the saunas that they have are not always the best for businesses because like we literally run our saunas from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. And we wanted to upgrade the lighting in there because everyone's taking selfies and, you know, we um, put an upgraded sound system and we made it like black on the outside and it was like really cool and really beautiful. And we also put a swivel iPad in there. So now we're like working on developing content from within the sauna and it also turns into like a photo booth. So, oh, that's dope. Yeah. Smart on so many levels. Yeah. Um, I, I want to back you up just a little bit there. Um, just, you know, from the entrepreneurial standpoint, A, great idea. B, great place to do it in New York City. New and Yorkers need it. More dude, than just, I mean, on so many levels. Plus, it's just freezing here a lot of the time, too. Like, it's not a tough ask. Like, hey, want to come in a nice, into you know. my nice warm sauna and combat seasonal <laughs> yeah, disorder. Totally. Like, mm, yes. Um, but I also like, just because... I've watched the health and wellness industry evolve over the past 22 years. And when I started, it was like, if you came to New York City and wanted to do something like a colonic or an infrared sauna, it would likely be in some like, quote, end quotes, healer's apartment or something, or a little like ramshackle. Ooh. Yeah, it would be like, there'd be like uh, uh, psychic readings from the gypsy on one side. You know, it's just not like... Mm, not fashionable and feel comfortable. yeah, not highbrow and clean and a beautiful aesthetic and stuff. So I think it was really smart that you broke out and were maybe the first ones here to really do it in that way. And it's such um, great timing too. As, timing as was this industry amazing. now, watching the health and wellness space, it's like the cool thing now. Which oh it, yeah, like it, everyone's opening <laughs> yeah. infrared sauna spas, and we were like, yeah, we did that four years ago or whatever. But, but I, you know, having having experienced the one at uh, now actually two spots. Um, the one at 11 Howard and then the one at Alchemist Kitchen downstairs there. Uh, it is a really cool experience to go in. And as you said, you have the essential oils and the lighting. We have the red cool. lights. We have Himalayan lamps. We're playing cool Burning Man music. We have yeah. this like wild wallpaper on the wall. Um, you know, like when you walk in, it's like definitely an experience. And I think that is a big part of what drives people nowadays to do anything is creating an experience around it and right. making it Instagrammable. Yeah, Which and is, that's smart too with your new ones of having the selfie thing built in. That's 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 you see pretty how that cool. works. Yeah, it's good. I know it's like user generated content. Now going back to, you know, finally selecting the brand. Uh, what did you know or know about the potential of really high EMFs in other saunas? Is that something you were aware of? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so electromagnetic field is something that you really have to look out for when purchasing anything infrared, which is why you just choose a great brand that's trusted, that has the best technology. But infrared saunas plug into the wall, and so do our infrared sauna blankets, which I'm sure we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, and electromagnetic field is something that comes from anything that's electronic, pretty much. And uh, infrared saunas have been known in the past, or really, you know, crappy technologies to have a whack load of EMF which is not going to kill you, but over time, if you like use it all the time, it's going to take from you and not give to you. Or if you have a weakened immune system or if you're sick and not feeling well, if you have cancer or something like that, like to be exposed to such high EMF is not what you want. Right. Right. N like naturally we're exposed to a whack load of EMF already as we like just live our lives with our computer and our cell phones and being in the subway. Airplanes are really bad with EMF and you can't really avoid that. But if you're thinking about doing something healthy for yourself, like an infrared sauna, you're going to want to choose something that's like, n there's nothing that you need to worry about. Right. And uh, yeah, choosing uh, the best brand that has the lowest EMF is definitely something you need to look out for. So clear light saunas virtually have none inside of the, the cabins and on the outside, it has like, I think up to three milligos, which is like the max, but you don't get infrared benefits from the outside. You get it from the inside. So it's virtually nothing. And um, we also created our infrared sauna blankets, which is our take home experience, which has less than one milligos of EMF, which is virtually no EMF as well. And that also is, you know, unheard of within the space because even biomats have like tons of EMF. yeah i know i have my biomat there uh, acting as a tripod stand <laughs> for all of our recording devices and it's it's funny because I, i've been aware of the emf thing for a long time and my my uh 
my last little Korean sauna that I had, which I think they sell at Costco. I never tested the EMFs on it because I didn't want to know because I would psych myself out and be like, oh, I'm killing myself with EMFs and every time I got in. So I just rolled with it for a while. But uh, you do have to be discerning. And even with the Biomat, which is, you know, it doesn't make you sweat like a sauna. It's just, I don't know, I use it just to relax and meditate. And if my body hurts anywhere, I put it on that part of my body and it's amazing. But I use my Biomat every single day. And I've had a lot of biohacker guys come at me and be like, dude, that thing's really high EMF. So I ended up giving mine to my mom because she was using a really high EMF electric blanket in Northern California. I'm just like, I can't try not to be codependent, but I'm like, mom, you can't use an electric blanket. That's literally the, and she has Lyme. So she's really oh, compromised. So I'm like, yeah, yeah you got to stop using the electric blanket. So I gave her my biomat and then I ordered a new one uh, to replace it. Cause I figured I decided I couldn't live without it. And on the little controller here, it has this little EMF blocker button. And Thank I was God. like, yeah, I was like, oh, sick. So it has less, but then as I started posting, then the real ardent biohacker dudes came at me again and were like, I measured it. It still has EMF. To me, it's like at a certain point, there's the cost to benefit ratio. Oh yeah. And, and so I'm like, well, the benefits I'm getting from the biomat probably outweigh the 20 minutes of exposure that I get. But as you said, like with an infrared sauna, I mean, you're going in there for serious healing and you're committing that time. And if you're spending money on one, I think it would be very unwise to yeah. get one that's got Yeah, and especially if you have Lyme or cancer or yeah. lymphatic issues, heavy metal poisoning and the other boatload of things that we're suffering with nowadays. You want to just choose the best, um, you know, infrared product out there. And that's one thing you need to worry about and look out for. And that's something that, you know, is a big reason why we partnered with Clearlight to make our, you know, custom saunas and also to do our custom sauna blankets, which is our take-home experience. I can't believe you got such low EMF on that blanket. Yeah, it's insane. Like, our, our blankets are amazing. They have amethyst and tourmaline. Um, they have magnetic therapy in there. Uh, the magnetic therapy helps increase blood flow and circulation. Amethyst and tourmaline provide an even deeper penetration of infrared therapy which is awesome oh that's why they have that like yeah, in the biomat the there's some kind of stone you can see a little window in there and there's these stones well, i was like i don't know is that just to look cool i didn't know well, what it was had for. a hot stone massage before right yeah yeah right? that's infrared oh right so you heat up the stone and then the stone delivers Trippy. infrared wavelengths directly deep within the tissues which doesn't happen with external heat because it oh. heats the air versus objects so that's interesting. And the same could be true to a degree for a sweat lodge. Like they light the fire and they heat up the rocks exactly. and then you put the rocks But unless inside. you're using electricity to heat the rocks and you got the EMF, yeah, whereas yeah, like yeah. a bet much better way to do that would be to heat the rocks, you know, whether it's like coals or whatnot, um, which we don't have a higher dose, but you just want to like make sure that, you know, again, it has low EMF whenever right. you're, you know, going for the hot. How much of the sauna wars did you experience as you started to shop around you know being someone who very blatantly is an advocate and a, um, a what do you call it affiliate of clear light saunas because i have one they're the best so i talk about them and if someone buys one and they use my code i get paid which is great so i got someone's got to pay for this goddamn podcast but um as i've been promoting Clearlight and I'm such a dedicated fan. Other companies have come to me and they try to email me and yeah. like talk shit about Clearlight and then I go to Clearlight they're like, "No, that guy used to work for us and he's disgruntled and you know, there's like every brand of sauna is very cutthroat kind of against the other ones and attacking them. Yeah. There's this very adversarial relationship I get with why them. though because they've been like sitting on this amazing technology that heals people and like nobody really even knew about it, which I didn't know about it like, you know, 3 years ago. That's why we're doing what we're doing is to educate people on the benefits of infrared and it should be a household name or word that people understand infrared because everyone should be doing it. I, I really do believe. So I, I can get gain why uh, or understand why they're so frustrated because it's clunky to try to sell like a 600 pound sauna to somebody. You know, it's like not everyone has the space. Not one, everyone has the money. Not everyone wants to like take care of something like that. So it was like such a big thing to like actually be able to execute a sale on that um which is another reason why we started our own sauna spas and developed the sauna blanket because everyone wants the benefits of infrared but you know can't always have the space for it so i understand why they're you know so desperate to get the word out there and stuff like that because i think it was hard to sell them like that, you had to be very like in the know yeah to have a sauna that's like, a, right that's an a, infrared sauna that's a good point and because they're not cheap it's a pretty i imagine like a 
you know, a high touch sales experience from the initial inquiry to a company. Why should I buy your sauna? Tell me why you're the best. It is probably difficult to present that information without saying we're the best because brands X, Y, and Z suck. And here's why we're better. And it's this much money. And like, you have to put it together yourself and, and, you know, 600 pounds and we'll deliver it to your doorstep. And then you got to take it and then you got to take care of it. And like, you lose people. Yeah. There also seems to be, um, some false claims too though and in, in the, there's like this scandal of not only the competition and kind of the, the shit talking within the sauna manufacturing community but also um, some false claims because I've had friends that have had a certain sauna for example that claim to be no EMF or low EMF and then they test it themselves and it's off the charts and they're like, uh, I thought you guys, part of your whole marketing thing is that it's no EMF, you know? And they're like, Oh no, it is. Well, no, it's not. Here's a video. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's weird. I, in the, in the health and biohacking space, there, there is the propensity for people to make false claims and the warranty sometimes are a little funky and I aren't ironclad. Like and though, you know? I guess, I guess it is. Yeah. It's just one that I've become more acutely aware of because saunas are my favorite thing ever and something yeah. that I'm interested in. And, and if I you explore. tell someone to buy it, it's a huge purchase. Like you got to right. make sure you're guiding them to do the right thing because otherwise, again, you have this like massive unit that, you know, you feel like is not even healthy for you. Like that's not good. Yeah, the psychological impacts of that too. Because yeah. I couldn't help knowing when I was in my old cheap Korean infrared sauna, yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting blasted by EMFs right now. And I couldn't <laughs> get that out of my head, you know, which is why I never tested it. So another thing <laughs> Sometimes that- Sometimes it's better not to know, right? It kind of is. Yeah. It kind of is, yeah. Um, like I've been getting my Bulletproof coffees at the coffee shop next door. At, well, they're not. They're just like a, an Americano. And it seems like some high quality coffee. I mean, it's, you know- local roast whatever fancy coffee and then i come back to my room and i make bulletproof coffee but i have to put out of my mind that it's new york city tap water in my coffee otherwise i'll psychologically make that healthy coffee bad for me so and yeah ignorance is bliss sometimes about things. it's a little vaccination in a way to get a little dose of some toxins sometimes it's it's whatever i had one this morning it was freaking delicious i just rolled with it (laughs) can't you know you can't be all, all controlling uh but anyway back to the the business of higher dose there's a couple things a kudos on not only the weather in new york city and the fact that people are so stressed out but i just had the realization based on space even if you have two, three, four, five grand to buy a sauna, if you live in New York no City, space. unless you are freaking loaded, you don't have room to put a f- sauna in your flat, you know? You to, I mean, I don't have a sauna in my flat and I want one and right. I have access to them, but there, I have no space. I don't even have a space for my clothes. Like people in New York are very aware of what they take on and buy and accumulate because it just weighs you down here because yeah. of the lack of space. So, but I also feel like that's kind of everywhere. Like, you know, just trying to be more of a minimalist and like not have things that take up too much space and and you know just being more aware of you know what you are buying I think is like a really important thing I just did a uh, complete I have like a two-bedroom apartment which in if I was in New York my apartment would be like a mansion you know but in LA it's just a nice two-bedroom apartment but I have my son in there but there's a lot of closets and when I moved in I just kind of I'm pretty tidy, you know, and everything's in its place. But if you open the closets, it's sort of a cluster F. So I recently (laughs) hired someone to come in and we decluttered all my closets. Doesn't it feel so good? Oh, amazing. I got so much more energy, so much more creative. What I realized is, oh my God, I'm like a closet figuratively and literally a closet pack rat i accumulate so much shit if i had to move to new york i mean i'm like what would i do if my apartment yeah. was this big or something just because it's in the closet doesn't mean it doesn't exist oh god um and i went and like had old the like, dvds digitized and like all that yeah, stuff like you keep on to you hold on to things because there's an emotional connection to it and you feel bad about throwing away yeah stuff but man when you do it's so much lighter and feels so good but well, yeah, I mean, like, I actually do know some people in New York that have a sauna in their closet. Oh, wow. Well, I like the fact that you made a place that people could go and just you pop in one of your locations and just do your thing and move on with your life yeah. and not have to have it in there. So, exactly. So, it's so nice to be taken care of, too, and have someone, like, clean your room and clean your towels and have the sauna nice and hot. And then we have right. cold water showers afterwards. And then, you know, that we have dirty lemon drinks and, you know, the whole experience is really nice. And I think what people are looking for in New York is actually healthy things to do and share together versus just going out and eating and drinking, which is like the obvious thing that you always do with people. It's like, Oh, I miss you. We should go for a drink. It's like, I don't want to go for a drink. So 
probably not going to end up hanging out with this person that I actually really want to connect with because I don't want to get off my healthy routine, right? Right. So to actually be able to provide a healthy experience for these New Yorkers, it's been like so well received because now it's like a cool thing to do to go in and bring your friend into the sauna, a colleague into the sauna, go on a date with your significant other or, you know, like go in by yourself and just enjoy that time. Yeah, Yeah, because your saunas are big enough. That's one thing I realized at the 11 Howard location. I was like, Our saunas are huge. Yeah, I was like, what's different? I go, oh, I have the little, I think it might be classified as a two-person sauna, but you'd have to really be friendly with that person. Like, I'm not jumping in my sauna with a homie. It's really, it's tight. It feels uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. We have (laughs) the bigger sauna that only let two people go in. And I could stretch out in yours. Like, my legs on the bench, I could lay down and relax and just kind of sweat more without having to sit there and, like, hold my composure. And I was like, oh, dude, when I have more space, I definitely need to upgrade into a bigger one. Yeah, Um, it's a luxury to have a big sauna. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Uh then on to, because I want to learn more about the sauna blanket. So Yeah, we're super excited about the sauna if blanket. For someone that doesn't have A, the budget, B, the space for a sauna is not in a city like New York where they can run down to the corner and do higher dose. How does this this space blanket, sauna blanket thing work? Yeah, so it sounds pretty weird, um, but it actually is pretty awesome. So what you do is you actually put on cotton clothing. So you put on long pants, socks, and a long sleeve shirt, and you wrap yourself in our sauna blanket, and you lay in there, and that's really your time where you can you know, catch up on work, jump on the phone, meditate, listen to a podcast, because you're laying there in this like warm, beautiful heat. And the first like 15, 20 minutes is so relaxing and so calming and so nourishing. But then as the sauna blanket starts to heat you up, that's when it starts vibrating water molecules, but you also start to profusely start sweating. And you get that workout without a workout because it speeds up your heart rate to the pace of a light jog. So you're getting all these benefits that you would in a sauna but in the comfort of your own home. I don't know if I explained that properly because I was trying to fit in a lot there. Oh, totally. But really, you could do it at home, get caught up on your podcast, eBooks, meditate, do work, sleep, whatever it is, while you're getting all the benefits of infrared. It's like a win-win. I like to do it in the morning. Actually. Yeah, that's cool because you can sort of multitask a bit more than you can in the sauna. There's like certain things you can't do in a sauna, like read a book. It's going to turn all soggy. You know, or bring like, in your phone. Yeah, my mm-hmm. phone. I like at your location the other day. I had my phone in there, and it would start to melt down. I'd have yeah, to yeah, set yeah. it outside. I mean, people then... <laughs> like bring their phone and take a selfie, and then like put it back. Yeah. Um, we do also have, you know, a sound system in there where you can listen to music. So you don't need to bring in your phone or anything right. like that. But I like the sauna blanket because you can kind of stack yeah, modalities more so. I get so, so much done. And I get all the benefits of infrared in the comfort of my own home. I don't even have to leave my house, which is also really nice. And so is it kind of like a sleeping bag? I'm trying to picture what it, what it looks like. So yeah, it looks like a sleeping bag. I hate saying that because they're much more beautiful and attractive than that. Like, Yeah. But I mean, um, in terms of like the construction of it, how you like, do you zip yourself in or do you just wrap yourself? Or so what? yeah, you lay down and you pull the right side over and then you pull the left side over and it naturally um, Velcros because it's a oh, little cool. bit weighted because of the amethyst and tourmaline and magnetic therapy. So it's really easy to get into. And then what I do is I kind of like stick my left hand out and then I'm like on my phone catching up on emails. I'm getting a workout right. without working out. I'm detoxing. I'm de-stressing and I'm ultimately feeling like a million bucks. And it's like I don't have to like stop my day-to-day life to do it. And all the gross sweat goes into the cotton clothing that all you All the gross on. sweat goes into the cotton clothing. You do sweat heaps, but you'd be surprised how much stays in the clothes and actually into the blanket. And then you just wash your clothes afterwards. Um, but yeah, it's like a, it's a really like, you can't believe how good you feel afterwards. Cause another thing is infrared's really good for pain because it does warm up the soft tissues and does increase blood flow and circulation and melts away like tension and stress. So your body feels like really like limber and loose and like warm and pain free. So you feel really great afterwards. So it's a really great biohack. If you're ever at home and you're feeling a little stagnant, jump in there, get that workout without working out while feeling good. And you know, you're good as new. I would venture to say that if I could only have one piece of technology that I use for health, except the Vitamix, that would be number one. <laughs> <But> <laughs> aside, you need to eat three times a day. So yeah, as- like- aside from the Vi- the Vitamix would maybe be my number one tool just because that's how I cook everything. It's just make a slop of a bunch of healthy stuff and gulp it down. <laughs> um, but I think the sauna... And I want to cover some of the more benefits kind of as we come to a close because there's some that you mentioned like the pain. But I think infrared treatment whether it be a blanket sauna whatever 
would be my number one thing that I couldn't, that I couldn't give up. Do you know why? Why? Because it immediately makes you feel heaps better. Right. Whereas not like not all healthy things make you feel great afterwards. Like sometimes you need to do four acupuncture puncture sessions or, you know, you need to take an herb for like a month or like there's a lot of things out there that really like are really good for you over a period of time, but they're not always so obvious, the benefits. Whereas infrared in one session in like just a few minutes of being in it, you immediately feel the benefits benefits and see the benefits. Whereas most things like that are like highly addictive substances like coffee and cigarettes. Right. Well, that's what I wanted to get into with some of the mood benefits. And I like your clever name, higher dose. Yeah. Tell people what dose stands for and, and some of the, the more elevating um, benefits of the infrared treatment. Yeah. So um, higher dose, dose stands for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. And those are your four main happy chemicals. Um, and what we did is we really wanted to communicate doing something healthy for yourself in a very different kind of way, which brought us to get high naturally, because that's ultimately what you're doing. You're using a technology to make you feel good. And, you know, we thought about like happiness and feeling good and getting higher. And then like in that process, we were like searching happy chemicals. And we also learned that infrared releases a ton of serotonin because it is on the invisible light spectrum. Your eye picks up the invisible light and starts releasing serotonin in the brain because it thinks it's in sunlight. What? Yeah. So it, it combats oh, seasonal dope. affective disorder. So it's like a ton of serotonin, wow. which antidepressants are just serotonin pretty much. Right. So to get a natural dose of serotonin. Um, and then we just started doing more research and then it also speeds up your heart rate to the pace of a light jog, which releases endorphins and then doing something healthy for yourself and like just trying to like think about the the reason why we do any of this and it's because we just all want to feel good and that's releasing dopamine it's like you know when you're doing something good for yourself yeah and then the oxytocin bit having your own private room and you know having your own private sauna you're not dealing with a whole whack of people that are ruining your experience in, instead you have this very controlled experience with a loved one someone you care about someone that you're you know, intimate with it enough to get naked in a sauna with someone and, you know, connect with them, you know, so that releases oxytocin. So the name just sort of naturally progressed. And I ultimately think that hi what higher dose is doing is, is more around a movement around, you know, educating people on how to get high naturally, how to release those happy chemicals. And it's actually going to be much more than just infrared, even though infrared is so powerful and so amazing. We also see ourselves like, you know, talking more about this like biohacking world of like how do you hack oneself to feel good and release these happy chemicals that's cool because that's what i was going to um ask you as my final question <laughs> good segue are you looking at my notes get it <laughs> so this is our second time yeah right yeah yeah we're, we're probably really nailing the points here today so um so the detox, the powerful detox, then the relief of pain and injuries and yeah, sort of just one. the wear and tear of being physically active, Recovery. whatever that looks like. Recovery, blood flow, yeah, circulation, yeah. pulls lactic acid out of the muscles um, and then penetrates your, your muscles and your tissues and, you know, ultimately like melts them like butter. So your whole body just like feels like super like limber and, and juicy and nourished and amazing and your skin looks all like dewy and flushed because you know you're f you're flushing fresh blood throughout the whole entire body and ultimately a lot of health and wellness things are just like moving stagnation you know like right. acupuncture or working out or you know what whatever we do um is just getting that fresh blood cool and then yeah i think the pain motivation for me is probably why i first started doing the infrared saunas and that's one thing now why it's just a non-negotiable thing because it's the inflammation and just stiffness and soreness of just being stuck in a freaking human body is uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, Lady Gaga just came out that, you know, she has fibromyalgia and she says infrared's the only thing that helps her. So oh, it's, wow. it's not just like inflammation or stiffness or arthritis. We're talking like diseases that, you know, you are suffering from copious amounts of pain and, yeah. and how it melts that away immediately. It's just such a beautiful thing. So, uh, as you alluded to, there are plans for the future. What do you guys, what's like big picture for you in terms of other integrations or more locations or cities? What are you guys looking at next? So we launched our first location with Equinox, um, eight months ago and the pilot did so well that we're launching seven more locations in the next three months with them, Damn, which is huge. Wow. 
Massive. Huge. And we're, we couldn't be more excited about that. Um, and it's open to the public. So you don't have to be an Equinox member, but you should be an Equinox member because how amazing is it to like work out and then go into an infrared sauna and then do your cold water shower right in, right in one place and let everyone else clean up your mess. Um, and yeah, so we're opening seven more locations with them. And then we're opening our first standalone location in Williamsburg where we're going to treat that more like a little biohacking center. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're going to like Dope. test out different you know, services and treatments and different products. And, you know, we're going to have our offices there. It's going to be like our little headquarters. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, if you want any recommendations, feel free to reach out. I know. I am going to be because I want to know yeah. more about this PMF thing. There's a lot of great stuff. Yeah. And if you have, you know, space for it, which would be easier to come by in Williamsburg, obviously, than Manhattan, probably. If you have a space for it, um, some of the modalities aren't even, and the devices aren't that big. Mm. But, you you know, you do need a chair, like a gravity chair or something to chill people in while they do said treatment. But there's some, there's four or five pretty needle moving things that are an investment up front. But if you have a situation from a business model where somebody can pay a small fee to use that thing for a finite period of time, a 20 minute session or whatever, you have, I think, a solid business model that's going to serve the customer uh, and also like make sense bottom line wise. So you yeah. can keep the doors open and the lights on. And so these, that's these exciting. technologies are all complimentary, you know, totally. to infrared, which is awesome. Yeah. Cause anything that loosens up, you know, toxins and gets things moving and flowing, you're going to want that sauna to flush everything out. Yeah. And I like the model of the all in one kind of one stop shop too. And people always email me, Hey, where in New York can I go? Where in LA can I go? I want to try all the things that you talk about. I don't want to buy it myself. Just like they don't you know, have the ability or the space to buy a sauna, but oftentimes people just want to dip into a place and experience all of the benefits of healing and then get on with their life without having to like learn how to use it and study the manual and go in the groups to learn all the protocols. It's like you have a trained staff that's like, cool, what's up with you? All right, yep. boom, go through these three or four things. You're going to walk out feeling like a different person. That's, that's really cool to be able to give people that experience. Yeah. And also, um, because you're so awesome and supporting us, we want to give all your listeners a discount code with your oh, name sweet. on it, literally. Yay. Use the discount code Luke, and you will get uh, a discount to our sauna blankets. So it'll be a $50 sick. off coupon, which I think is pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I Whenever guests sell something, I always try to put a little heat on them to give the audience a discount <laughs> and so you already came up with that so thank you for that that's yeah great. no i mean hopefully you know that's interesting to everyone else out there because i just think that you know everyone can benefit from infrared no matter who you are and the more you use it the more benefits you get from it cool dope well i'm excited about your uh williamsburg expansion yeah hopefully we're the first place you come to as soon as yeah you land keep in me posted on that too and i'll help spread the word in any way that i can uh, okay, so I've learned a lot from you today, as the members of our audience have as well. Who have been three teachers or teachings that have influenced your life and your work that we might be able to go look up and benefit from? So um, Richard Branson, I mentioned his name last time. Um, I read his biography when I was really young, and I just love what the man's about. And I also really loved meeting him in real life and, and seeing that everything that he has known to be from his, you know, entrepreneurial, amazing family, like, um, he, he's like this wild guy that always pulls pranks on people. That's so funny. So down to earth. The guy was wearing like $5 sandals, but yet his whole life was around like this wildlife sanctuary and like saving animals. He's just like everything that, you know, you, thought he was and more so I was like really um amazed by him um who else so I've had a lot of people in my life that have shown me or inspired me in so many different ways but um last time I also mentioned Ben Greenfield I'm going to mention him again um I listen to a lot of his podcasts and I'm like learning a lot of next level therapies through him um who else Who's my third? Who was my third last time? I don't know. I didn't know it was three. A week seems so long ago <laughs> now. So much has happened since then. Oh my God, I'm drawing blank. This seems like such the easiest question out of all of them. Um, those are two people. Yeah, Ben Greenfield's more in the health and wellness world. Um, Richard Branson's more in the business. Oh, um, so, you know, I really am inspired by a lot of women these days and this is not one person but that just have a really nice like work 
life family balance. And I think that's really profound, like to, to have this like really, really strong career, but like still have like amazing space for your family and to give love. And, and there's actually a lot of women that are, you know, doing this today in today's day and age. And I'm, and I'm just like watching it because I want that for myself. So I would say, um, to all those women out there that have careers that are making a difference, they love their families and, and, you know, everyone in the world, I guess, like they just have so much love to give and they just like, I, you know, are really strong and independent. I think that those, all of those women inspire me. They inspire me too. We could use more of them. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. A totally unexpected answer, but that's awesome. I, I know. I was that. like trying to answer it and I'm like, where am I at my life right now? Yeah. And that's where I'm at is like, I, I have this crazy career, but I'm like, trying to develop my own family and, you know, being very aware of that while still giving love to other people. And, you know, what I'm working on right now is, is to be more grounded, to be more loving, to be more warm. And these are all like motherly energies, but I don't want to lose sight on manifesting around my business either. Right. So I, I, I'm studying all sorts of like, I see a book in your future, the balanced woman, right? It's (laughs) funny because I have this massive tattoo on my back and it's scales for balance and everyone thinks I'm a Libra and I got it 10 years ago when I was in a really dark space and it's all around balance. So cool. There, there you it go. is. Boom. All right. Where can people find you? Website, social media, et cetera. Yeah. So higherdose.com. Uh, you can book sessions there and you can also purchase your own at home sauna blanket. You can check us out at higher dose for Instagram. And then my own personal Instagram is at Lauren Berlingeri. If you guys you know, want to follow me, that would be awesome. I actually am making more of an effort to communicate and find my own voice over Instagram. It's funny because I was like hosting and doing all of that TV amazing juiciness. And then I like got into being an entrepreneur and I kind of lost myself in that. But I think this year is going to be more focused on like a hybrid of both. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. We'll we'll put it all in the show notes and people can go check you out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you for the couple great sauna experiences I had. You made my trip much healthier and way more fun. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Yeah. Thank you.